What is going on, everybody? I am Eric Devante, and you are watching MajorFilmEvents.com. Today, I'm at the Avalon in Hollywood for the Wildlife SOS's Tusk After Dusk, Night of a Thousand Elephants. Now, tonight, we are saving the elephants, and I couldn't be more excited. It'll be amazing interviewing people who have dedicated their life to this amazing cause. Make sure you stay tuned. Hey, Miss Hennessy, if you don't mind that, some, uh, you know, an element of class with that. <laughs> Of course. How does it feel for you to be here tonight supporting this amazing cause? Anything for elephants. Anything for elephants. Yes, anything to, to, to keep the species thriving. I should say get the species thriving. Because Correct. Because we're decimated at the moment. So, yeah, absolutely. So would you consider yourself an animal advocate? Absolutely. As opposed to like an animal activist? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. No activism here, folks. Only no batshit crazy activism here. Did I do that? Yes, I did. Um, because, yeah, because I, I and, and for those who might not know the difference, um, in a nutshell, advocates understand the necessity, the mandate now for modern zoos and aquariums, the last bastion, the last arcs of preservation and conservation. They understand the need for... Um, Working with work, working with those institutions, um, getting vet care to the sanctuaries because sanctuaries often don't have vet care. That's some one of the differences between vets and zoo between sanctuaries and zoos. Uh, the 24-hour vet care, um, the the intermingling with you know tr like tribes. Um, so yes, definitely an advocate. So yes, I'm. No, no, PETA, no. And yes, SeaWorld, the old SeaWorld, before it was taken over by Joel Mamby, who trashed it. I know a little bit about it. That was incredible, and now I know a little bit about it. So thank you so much. All the way, yes, yes. So what's the one thing that you hope people take away from tonight's event? Gosh, as opposed to t like tickets to Hamilton, because you know they're raffling them off. Are they? Oh, oh I hope. Uh, how can I get one? I, listen, I've seen it. You should try. Okay. Try and get it. Uh, just, I think, a sense, uh, even even a more heightened sense of the urgency, the urgency with which we need to con with we, which we need to a stop ISIS because ISIS takes the ivory and trades it for guns. And I don't know if you knew this. Yes, I didn't know that. Yes, yes the illegal ivory trade is part in part funding. Wow. weapons for ISIS so that's just yet another reason why that needs to be brought down but also um, changing the hearts and minds if we can what what can we do to change the hearts and minds of people in in the in the Asian countries that know they don't need an ivory tchotchke on their mantelpiece that no a tiger penis is not an aphrodisiac etc 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 so these these you know these sort of well inculcated but 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 uh, Neanderthal notions of these herbs and this and that and this does this and this does that. It doesn't. It's you're you're taking an innocent life. You're taking a life that that you shouldn't take. So yeah. All right. You gave us something to think about. So I hope so. That's I, all we can. Ask. I talk a lot and I talk fast. I love it. I love it. It reminds me of New York. But <laughs> that's right. It's really nice to meet you. Likewise. Thank you so much. Oh wait. Do you have any social media that you want to share with yes. us? www.carolynhennessy.com and again C-A-R-O-L-Y-N-H-E-N-N-E-S-Y that's Facebook, that's Twitter, that's Instagram. That's, that's everything. Facebook. I love it. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. What does it mean for you to be here tonight at the Wildlife SOS event? Uh, it means a lot and is supporting this incredible organization that does help in India with the elephants in particular. Personally a huge fan of elephants so it makes sense that I'm here supporting them and uh, yeah I just want to support what they do. That's perfect. Now as a director of What the Health, did, was that sur uh, surrounding animals? Uh, well more of cowspiracy. It was on the way our diet, eating animal products affects the environment, particularly wildlife. We have a whole section on elephants in the film. So it kind of goes hand in hand of what they do. Right? Yeah, anything we can do to protect the animals, and that's what they do. That's perfect. Can you tell me one thing about the animals or about the elephants in particular that most people wouldn't know? Uh, really, I guess the big thing is their strong bond that they have with family. Like they will not leave family members, and just the strong bond. And you can look up about the elephants' bond that they have with their, with their children, and uh, you know just their family members. It's just unbelievable. Like one of the strongest bonds of all the animal kingdom. I love that. My heart just melted a little bit. <laughs> Kip, do you have any social media that you want to share with us? Uh, mainly our films is What the Health Film and. Uh, and Cowspiracy, or WTH Film, I think it is, and What the Health on, on Facebook. Perfect. Well, it was great talking to you, and I hope you have a great evening. 
No problem. I had an amazing time at tonight's event. I learned so much about animal preservation and what we can do to give back. I know it may not affect you directly, but you have to think about the amount of animals being slaughtered daily. Tonight was extremely eye-opening for me. Make sure you stay tuned to MajorFilmEvents.com. You never know where we'll be next.